Hi, welcome. Today we are going to study the distinction between delta G and delta G0. Okay. Now see, uh, we have studied in previous lecture that delta G is equal to delta G0 plus RT ln of Q. Okay. So where Q is the reaction question. Okay. So delta G is equal to delta G0 plus RT ln of Q. Now when we consider at equilibrium that delta G is equal to 0. We know it very well that at equilibrium. So uh, at equilibrium delta G is equal to 0. When delta G is less than 1 then reaction is spontaneous and when delta G is greater than 1 then reaction is non-spontaneous. So we are considering here at equilibrium. So delta G is equal to 0 and at equilibrium also Q is equal to 1. So if we put these values in equation 1 then it become 0 is equal to delta G 0 plus RT ln of K. So rearranging we get delta G 0 is equal to minus RT ln of K. So this is important equation delta G 0 is equal to minus RT ln of K. Now that delta G 0 remains constant during the reaction. Okay, so there are the two characteristics of delta G0 that are written here. Delta G0 remains constant during the reaction. It does not change with the composition of the reaction mixture. There is a no change in value of delta G0 with the composition of a reaction mixture. Now, we will see what is the actual difference between delta G0 and delta G. So delta G0 is the difference. So we know that when there comes delta, it indicates the difference. When in any equation we write delta, that delta gives us the difference. So delta G0 is the difference in what? Molar free energies of the products and reactants in their standard states. So that reactants and products they are in their standard state. So we also know that when we write that zero, it describes us the standard state. Now see the delta G. Again delta G, it is the difference in molar free energies of products and reactants at a specified stage of the reaction. Now when we write only delta G, then it does not describe the standard state it describes the specified state it means that at any temperature pressure value etc so it is uh, it is a value for the specific stage so this is the actual difference between delta g0 and the delta g thank you